with Marvel Studios releasing Moon Knight right around the corner, which happens to be just 24 hours ahead of the United States release of Morbius, and on the same day that Morbius opens up internationally, there is some speculation whether or not this is a potential Midnight Sun setup. So let's talk about that. So the Midnight Suns have been getting a pretty decent push in front of Marvel on every single front. Whether it's the upcoming Midnight Suns video game, multiple characters returning throughout the comics, and of course, even recent runs and upcoming runs that are rumored to be coming sometime down the road. There's definitely going to be a point where we have a lot of these characters all having their own standalone issues, and then of course, meeting up for more Midnight Sun content. Now, of course, recently, we know that Sony delayed Morbius, and Moon Knight just so happened to drop its first trailer, confirming that it's coming out on March 30th, with Morbius following on, obviously, April 1st, April Fool's Day. So many people are wondering, is there something here? Was this done on purpose? Are they going to do some sort of crossover? Is this part of some bigger picture that this is why this is happening? And many people believe that this could be something that's in the works because of obviously the Sony deal with Marvel Studios and everything in regards to sharing characters, the Spider-Man connection. But I'm gonna go on a pretty big and definitive no to no connection here. Now hear me out why. Yes, I get it, Morbius is a vampire, yes. He's interacted with Moon Knight and the Midnight Suns and Ghost Rider and Blade and all that. Blade's coming to the MCU. He might cameo in Moon Knight. Yes, that all makes sense. Yes, it's all happening. But, and hear me out with this one. If Marvel Studios outright refuse to put Venom into the MCU proper besides a small little cameo and then literally boot him out, why would they let Morbius in to play in the full playground? Especially if we assume that Morbius dropped into the MCU briefly and then was also given the boot out just like the likes of Venom. It wouldn't make sense to me. Why is he the only one remaining? Unless there is the possibility that Morbius has always been set in the MCU, which again, that could be a possibility if you really stretch what the MCU is. But again, some sort of multiverse thing would have to factor into it because where is the New Horizon building? Where is Oscorp? Do you guys see what I'm saying? Yes, there's Michael Keaton's Vulture, but again, we all know that's a variant now. So that's why I'm definitively, like, 100% sure the answer is going to be no. There is no connection here right now. Maybe if there is a connection down the road, or if Morbius does appear in Moon Knight, it's a variant of Morbius, played by Jared Leto, but it won't be the same one. But even I think that would be a stretch, because it doesn't make sense, right? It doesn't make sense at all. Like, why would Morbius be like, I'm Venom. Okay, who's Venom? We don't have a Venom in the MCU. You guys see what I'm saying? I hope that makes sense. So no, I don't believe there's any possible connection or crossover or anything right now. Unless they multiverse it all down the road with the Midnight Suns, which they have done in the comics, then it could work. But no, I think Moon Knight stays separate from anything Morbius.